it is so cold cold man <laughs> Good morning, we are back to the Kew Gardens. First thing we do, saying hello to the palm house. And uh, we are very close to these lovely flowers and actually you can smell them and they are wonderful. Spring is coming. This is the end of March, but spring is here. Look at this, the amount of work it requires to look like this visually very very pleasing one o'clock already for all time's sake we went to the shop and we got ourselves a Tesco meal deal it was 3.90 and it comes with a sandwich with a drink and uh, some sort of dessert for that we choose um, mango mango slices but the sandwich it's really good tuna with the cucumber we really miss that we were talking about this that other shops already you know saving money leaving the cucumber out and we have the cucumber now coffee and donuts because I'm on I'm on diet now need to work on the summer body it's already March look who came to say hello yeah that's the thing I, I'm not sure what I can give to them probably donuts are not a good idea so they leaving disappointed just in case if you wonder it's a custard in the in the donuts custard so this is the water lily house and it's closed at the moment i think it's gonna be open summertime this one should be in the movie because this is gigantic look they put this ring around it so probably they don't want people to to walk up there and take picture with it but this is magnificent the gigantic tree so we came here to read what's going on i think the person who named it had very little imagination because he called it oak chestnut leaved oak he could have been more original and uh, yeah it's been here since 1846 i thought it's been here like 400 years because it's so big and chunky okay so this is march this is how it looks in the month of March and I will show it to you in July I just realized I had too many coffees <laughs> I'm telling you woke up very early for me it's early anyway and had uh, coffee at home and uh, here at the Kew Gardens and at home you know drinking the coffee we were listening the news if you follow this channel you know i'm hungarian i'm from eastern europe and in the morning we are listening the english news and the hungarian news and sometimes other news as well because i used to live in five countries but now what dominates the time in the morning where we consume the news and the new information and the things we follow is definitely right now what's happening in, in Hungary because the country's two main people quit the president of Hungary, Katalin Novak and uh, Judith Varga and there's another person 
very very close to it at least the people around him are making him considering it and the other guy on the list is uh, Zoltan Balog and uh, I think in English um, his position would be bishop not with the Catholic Church but with the Protestant Church so he's very very high up and he's gonna be the next one and all the news is about this man how he tries to avoid and uh, yeah he just won he's just fighting for his position and he shouldn't because so many awful things happened to many 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 people and uh, all all those things lead up to one person and that person received a presidential pardon and that was kind of kept secret for a while for at least half a year and then it uh, somehow made public so there was it was not secret anymore and uh, so many people quit the job straight away like the president of Hungary and uh, a lady who would be like Ministry of Justice and now the next one is this bishop so now basically is the very first time in my life I'm listening uh, commentary on a religion I never done that before but now I'm listening to an hour two hours long conversations about uh, how the church should um, what kind of relationship the church should have with the government the taxpayers supposed to pay the bills for the for the church or or how it should go because it seems to me that everyone has kind of different opinion on this one and now it's gonna change once Zoltan Balog the bishop will leave because he was on this presidential pardon case and so so many things is now being talked about that hasn't been before it was it was kind of people talked about it so i knew about this but it never made into the daytime television you know that so many people talking about it and um, well the situation is much worse than we thought with, with the church with the with the protestant church so well we are in a kew garden enjoying coffee and donuts and stuff i'm not gonna go on the internet because i wanna enjoy the nature but i think i think 24 people in the church of the protestant church the leadership 24 people signed this this paper asking uh, the bishop this hungarian guy zoltan balok to consider some steps and he simply said that uh, if he leaves so the taxpayers money will leave the church as well which is i heard i heard many many um speech on people speech from people who got accused and how would they try to protect themselves but i never heard this really before oh you want to out me then okay then I take the whole budget with me. This is, I don't know, it should be a movie because it's so absurd. Yeah, this is what I wanted to say about this and anything happens, I, I let you know. But now we need to go back and enjoy the nature here at uh, 
you guidance